For this tip, I want to show you guys how to enter data very fast. So let me show you how it works. In this worksheet, we have three cells with text inside, A1, B1, and C1. There are three headings, name, income, and expenses. In the first column, we want to insert some random names. So let's start typing names. Let's type Andreas in the A2 cell, John in A3, Maria in A4, Mike in A5, Bill in A6. Some of these names are going to be repeating, like John in the A7 cell. Take a look, if I insert John again, typing J letter makes Excel provide the name automatically. Excel is pretty clever to understand that John is a repeating text. Let's do that again, this with the name Maria in the A8 cell. If I have a lot of repeating names, there is a useful technique. Simply right click on this cell and choose Pick from drop down list. We see all the previous names there, so we click the one we want. So a really helpful tool here that saves us time. Now let's move on to the B1 cell. To show you a nice technique, we already know that if we insert a number and press enter, the active cell moves downward. For example, let's type 5 and press enter. The active cell moved downward to cell B3. Now type 10 and enter. If sometimes you want the active cell to move rightward or not to move at all, I'll show you a setting to do it. Go to File tab, Options, Advanced, and from the Editing Options section, you can see this option, which is enabled. After pressing Enter, move Selection. Now, if I move this to the drop-down list, there are four directions that cell moves if you press Enter. Down, right, up, or left. Of course, you can uncheck the box if you don't want the active cell to move at all. Try it out and select the right direction and press OK. Now I will type the number 15 in this cell and press Enter. The cell moved to the right. Pretty straightforward, right? Go again to the Advanced tabs from File, Options, and change the setting to Downward. Okay. Finally, a nice trick that I want you to learn and I use often is the following. First, highlight the cell that you want to fill with numbers or text. Okay. Press Enter, and as you already see, now we move down the columns. But pressing Tab, we can move across the rows. So it depends on what you want. We learn different techniques to enter data pretty fast. If you have questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.